human mind is fragile to the extent that many of you take a lifetime to come out of the darkness of feeling unworthy. It is the inability to forgive and love yourself that prevents you from feeling secure in the presence of love. If you talk to the people you come across in everyday life, deep down inside, there is always some form of residual unworthiness from the life experiences traumatizing their psyche. A disciple of Ramana Maharshi once famously asked him how we should treat others, to which he replied that there are no others. We are all made of the same source, and even though we appear in different forms, we are one. This is why when you are in the presence of gurus that have attained enlightenment, they do not judge you. When you first appear in front of such a realized soul, your mind might instantly tell you how terrible you are as a person, and you don't deserve to be in the same room as this soul. Thoughts of, if he only knew, may begin to pour into your mind. But an enlightened guru knows and still loves your being just the way you are. You could be the most hardened criminal hiding your real self out of shame in front of a monk, and he would still know you and love you just the same, because he doesn't see you as a criminal, but as an infinite being. This is what we have failed to realize. Whatever you may be in your real life wouldn't matter anymore when the realization comes over you. If you begin to see the light within yourself and accept that you are worthy and deserve everything good, then this gnawing anxiety that eats you inside will begin to dissolve. It is for you to find your beauty within yourself and to allow the radiant light of your soul to resurface. It has been inside you all along, hidden beneath the depths of your three-dimensional personality. Alan Watts once explained that the best way to deal with fear is to face it head on, and that terror can only be dealt with by heading straight into it. The trick involved is not very different if you feel unlovable or unworthy. To dissolve this anxiety and accept that you are worthy of everything good, all you have to do is sit with this feeling. Do not run away from it. Just sit with and observe your thoughts and feelings. Observe the anxiety you feel, the feeling of unworthiness that haunts you, the feeling of separateness from others, and the pain. Allow these feelings to just be without trying to judge them. Observe it as if they were just passing by. The minute you indulge in self-loathing and let these feelings overwhelm you, you are participating in it. Do not identify yourself with these feelings. Just realize that this is just your mind putting on a show. When you're born, you are a baby that is an infinite being of light and you are everything in the universe. You go from that infinite being to feeling like a puny, helpless creature that is a victim of your anxious feelings. That's because as you grow, you develop a personality, and the human personality is programmed to survive. We live from our automatic self-preserving reptilian brain, which is rooted in fear and vulnerability, because it is designed for survival. The years of biological programming can be overwritten if you become an observer instead of being involved in the show. Your personality is just a construct that your mind makes up of who you think you are. Similarly, your mind makes up such personalities for everybody else. Different versions of your personality exist in everyone's mind. You exist as a different person inside everyone's brain the same way you've built a character for others in your mind. The root cause of what is causing your suffering is just your mind. You cling on to these thoughts and feelings as if they were real. This is similar to how you get momentarily terrified when someone creeps up on you from the back, only to realize a few seconds later that it is someone you know. 
The fear that peaked inside you begins to dissolve instantaneously the minute that realization sinks in. It was all in the mind. When such a realization happens, you will see that your personality, your fears, and your anxiety are all just a series of thought forms, and it becomes a vicious cycle the minute you keep investing your energy in these thoughts. When you are finally driven to observe these feelings that come over you and just let them pass by without judgment, then in a way it stops affecting you so deeply. Ram Das once said, You are loved just for being who you are, just for existing. You don't have to do anything to earn it. Your shortcomings, your lack of self-esteem, physical perfection, or social and economic success, none of that matters. No one can take this love away from you, and it will always be here. All this time, you have been your own enemy by holding on to the sense of being unlovable, treating yourself rightly, and coming out of the anxious feeling of unworthiness does not mean that you're self-centered. It only means that you have begun to see yourself for who you truly are. When you reach that point, you are finally at peace with your inner self.